So for whatever reason, Hulu will soon be premiering a four-part documentary about Hillary Clinton at Sundance simply titled Hillary. Because, of course, that's what they'd call it. Because, you know, everything is about Hillary Clinton. The world revolves around her. And I'm sure that she absolutely loves the attention that she will get because of this documentary. <laughs> but I digress. They're going to be premiering this documentary very soon. And in the lead up to the premiere, The Hollywood Reporter interviewed Hillary Clinton. And they asked her about something that she said in this documentary that was incredibly negative about Bernie Sanders. And they basically asked her, does she believe that what she said then still holds up today. And not only did she confirm that she does believe all of those negative things she said about Bernie Sanders, but on top of that, she decided to imply that he's sexist and she called out his supporters as well. So interviewer Lacey Rose asked her, in the documentary, you're brutally honest on Sanders. Quote, he was in Congress for years. He had one senator support him. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. It's all just baloney. And I feel so bad that people got sucked into it. That assessment still hold? Yes, it does, Hillary Clinton answered. If he gets the nomination, will you endorse and campaign for him? Hillary responded, I'm not going to go there yet. We're still in a very vigorous primary season. I will say, however, that it's not only him, it's the culture around him. It's his leadership team. It's his prominent supporters. It's his online Bernie bros and their relentless attacks on lots of his competitors, particularly the women. And I really hope people are paying attention to that because it should be worrisome that he has permitted this culture. Not only permitted, he seems to really be very much supporting it. And I don't think we want to go down that road again where you campaign by insult and attack and maybe you try to get some distance from it but you either don't know what your campaign and supporters are doing or you're just giving them a wink and you want them to go after Kamala or after Elizabeth. I think that's a pattern that people should take into account when they make their decisions. She is such a sweet person. Love Hillary. <laughs> now before I address what she said here, um, as you can see, I'm not very mad about this. I don't care what Hillary Clinton thinks. But she also um, responded to last week's shiving of Bernie Sanders by his friend, Elizabeth Warren, quote unquote friend. And she obviously sided with Elizabeth Warren. And she said that Bernie went, quote, after Elizabeth with a very personal attack on her. And she also claimed that, you know, this is really... A pattern with Bernie Sanders. This is a history that he has with women and the way that he interacts with female candidates. I'm paraphrasing, but she said, you know, Bernie Sanders, he called me unqualified in 2016, and now we have this. I mean, put two and two together. Wink, wink. Seems like he's kind of sexist. Um, and on top of that, she also uh, supposedly said that she's been in contact with Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar. She's been giving them advice, answering their questions, and really she's been talking to all of the 2020 Democratic Party primary contenders with the exception of one. Can you guess? It's Bernie Sanders. Um, so, listen, I don't care about this. I don't think anybody at this point really cares what Hillary Clinton has to say, but I will say that I'm happy that she chose to attack Bernie Sanders um, even though it's dirty, even though I think that this is probably hurtful for Bernie Sanders, the reason why I say this is because most Americans hate Hillary Clinton. So her giving Bernie Sanders this anti-endorsement, if you will, it's only going to help him. Because if she hates Bernie Sanders and Americans see that she hates Bernie Sanders, then they're probably going to like Bernie Sanders more. Not only be galvanized to support him and donate to him, but maybe support him and see him as a more sympathetic figure because Hillary Clinton is such a loathsome ghoul. I mean, think about this. Her critique is nobody likes him. Now, by nobody, she means the elites in Washington, D.C. Well, guess what? We all hate D.C. We view all of you as the epicenter of corruption in America. You're all corrupt. You all take these legalized bribes. And the fact that nobody likes Bernie Sanders tells us that there's something unique and special about him. Maybe he's not corrupt like you and everyone else in D.C., Hillary Clinton. I'm responding to her as if she watches the Humanist Report, but I mean, maybe. So she um, also addressed all of Bernie Sanders' online supporters some of his prominent supporters online. And I can't help but think she's referring to people in indie media. Now, I'm assuming she doesn't know who I am, but if she is watching The Humanist Report, then understand Hillary Clinton. I absolutely 
hate you. And um, most Americans feel the same way that I do. No, not because you're a woman, but because you represent everything that is wrong in Washington, D.C. And it's not just you. It's all of your buddies. Pete Buttigieg, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, all of you are the reason why Donald Trump is president currently. Because this system, this ongoing you know, push for neoliberalism, market-based policies, it hasn't been addressing our problems. And as a result, people became increasingly desperate and they became susceptible to the message of a demagogue like Donald Trump. Now imagine if somebody who's a more competent demagogue comes along. I worry about that. So, like, saving not just the country but the planet means we defeat people like Hillary Clinton. Because so long as they are in power, so long as they have an influence, because she doesn't really have power but she's still influential, Donald Trump and people like him on the far right will continue to be able to obtain power easily. So, look, this bothered me not at all. Again, it, it hurts because I'm assuming Bernie, after he worked his ass off to get her elected in 2016... You know, he views this as a slap in the face, but thinking of this in terms of, like, the long game, this is only going to help Bernie Sanders. I mean, think about how, even though the establishment hates Tulsi Gabbard, when she called Tulsi Gabbard a Russian asset, most people saw through that, and I think that that helped Tulsi Gabbard. So this can only help Bernie Sanders similarly. Now, Bernie was asked about this, and he responded in the way that we all could have predicted he would have responded. He basically just let it all roll off of his shoulders. Take a look. Look, uh, right now, today, I am dealing with impeachment. Uh, we are very proud that the American College of Physicians has just come on board for Medicare for All. Thousands of doctors did an open letter to the New York Times uh, on Medicare for All. Uh, and right now, what my focus is on is uh, outside of the impeachment trial, is doing everything I can to defeat the most dangerous president in modern American history, uh, that is Donald Trump. And that's really about all that but I have. Senator, I, I take your point. Secretary Clinton said was about uh, your supporters and uh, criticizing them. Right, look, look, look. Secretary players. Clinton is entitled to, uh, you know, her point of view. Uh, my job today is to focus on the impeachment trial. Uh, my job today is to put together a team that can defeat the most dangerous president uh, in the history of the United States of America. Why do you think the secretary is still talking about 2016? That is a good question. Ask him. I can answer that because she felt entitled to the presidency. And even after she rigged the primary against Bernie Sanders, he still nearly beat her when he had no national name recognition. And also because she is a genuinely salty and terrible human being. Um, but look, Bernie Sanders... <laughs> On one hand, I feel so frustrated because I want him to punch back. I want him to defend himself. But I think that, and I said this on Twitter, we'd all be genuinely more happy if we let these types of attacks and smears just roll off of our shoulders in the way that Bernie Sanders does. Like for me, I let these types of things, when people say bad things about me, bother me. And if I didn't, like if I just brushed it off... I think I would probably be a lot more happier, and I'm sure the same is true for everyone else. So, in the long run, I think that Bernie Sanders is probably strategically correct to not really respond to this, but in the event he capitalized on this and attacked Hillary Clinton, I don't think it would hurt him. I think it would help him, because people see through these attacks on Hillary, uh, that Hillary Clinton has been lobbying against him. Who doesn't at this point? I mean, she's been attacking everyone. She's been a genuinely toxic figure in the 2020 primary, contributing nothing but negativity, right? When we all want to beat Donald Trump after she lost to him, right? So if Democrats are truly focused on defeating Donald Trump, how can they possibly view this as being helpful at all? It's not helpful. It's counterproductive, right? So, I mean, nobody thinks that this is going to hurt Bernie Sanders. Nobody cares what Hillary Clinton says at this point, except for her followers who are sick of fans who will never leave her side, but those people are too far gone. Um, but I mean, the main thing about all of this is just the sheer hypocrisy from Hillary Clinton, right? Because back when she won the primary in 2016, she did absolutely nothing to try to reach out to Bernie Sanders supporters. There was this half-assed attempt to kind of adopt parts of his free college tuition plan. I, I think she maybe adopted two years or something. But I mean, she she basically assumed that we would support her. And her tactic was to browbeat everyone who didn't want to fall in line, who was going to vote for Jill Stein. And now 
like the hypocrite that she is, she's indicated that, you know, maybe she's not going to be as loyal to the party as she wanted from us and expected from us. Isn't it amazing? Look, I said this at the beginning of the 2020 primary back in February of last year when Bernie Sanders announced his presidency or announced his campaign, soon to be presidency, hopefully. Um, I said that a lot of these centrists who are basically calling on people in 2016 to fall in line, they're either not going to vote for Bernie Sanders if he's the nominee or outright vote for Donald Trump. Because ideologically speaking, they're closer to Donald Trump than they are to Bernie Sanders. That's the case with Hillary Clinton. So, I mean, you're going to see a lot of hypocrisy, and it is going to be incredibly delicious to um, drink their salty tears after they have been berating us for years now to fall in line. And all of a sudden, once Bernie is surging before Iowa, it seems like they don't want to fall in line themselves and take their own advice. Now, here's the thing. What makes this even worse for Hillary Clinton is how documented it was that Bernie Sanders worked his ass off to get her elected. I'm going to play a clip from Rachel Maddow, and she's going to explain just how Bernie Sanders did everything he possibly could to get her elected. Take a look. There was this lingering question at the end of the Democratic primary as to whether or not Bernie Sanders really meant it when he endorsed Hillary Clinton, whether he really meant it when he said he would work his heart out all over the country to get her elected. Well, he's been working his heart out. It's true. He started campaigning for Clinton really in earnest, basically as a full-time gig a couple of weeks ago. He appears really to be flooring it for Hillary Clinton. Over the first five days Bernie Sanders spent on the campaign trail for Hillary Clinton, over five days, he did 14 events for her. Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Maine, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, 14 events in five days. Yesterday and today and tonight, he's stumping for Hillary Clinton in Colorado. On Wednesday, he's going to Nevada for her. Tomorrow, though, he is spending all day and all night in Red State, Arizona. He did 14 events in five days. That is absolutely insane. He tried to do everything in his power to prop up the weakest candidate imaginable against Donald Trump. And she still lost. You had the most popular politician in America on the stump for you. You still lost. That's on you. That's something, you, that's something that you've got to own. And on top of that, you know, she can't pretend that she didn't know how much of an effort Bernie Sanders made because she sent him this personal letter where she acknowledged the work that he did, you know, towards the end of the campaign. So, look, I am sick and tired of Hillary Clinton, and I go out of my way to avoid talking about her, but in instances like this where she's going after Bernard, and I am, you know, I think one of the leaders of the Brotherhood of the Bernard, I feel like I've got to defend his honor here. Bernie's not going to defend himself. He's going to, you know, sit on this, but as one of the, uh, toxic online Bernie bros, um, allow me to say that nobody respects Hillary Clinton. We absolutely hate Hillary Clinton. And um, if you disagree with me, Hillary Clinton, it's not because I'm sexist. It's because you're homophobic. And yes, I'm using that card. I've kept it in my back pocket for quite some time. And if you disagree with me, Hillary Clinton, it is because you are a raging homophobe. And she's actually quite literally a turf. Like she is a transphobe, right? So it's not that far off for me to use that card right now because, you know, trans people are my people. They're in my community. But nonetheless, I digress. That's <laughs> See how easy it is for me to get lost on a tangent. But at the end of the day, I mean, nobody takes Hillary Clinton seriously. You lost to a clown reality television show star. Take all of the millions of dollars that you have and just retire and go away because we are so sick and tired of hearing from you and hearing your negativity. Go away, Hillary.